بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کلاس دس از اخلاق ہیئر اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی نیکسٹ لیکچر اباؤٹ سافٹ ویئر کوالٹی ایشورنس کورس کوڈ از آئی ٹی ای سی فور ون ٹو ٹو اینڈ اوور ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از سافٹ ویئر کانفیگریشن مینجمنٹ اینڈ آئی ہوپ دیٹ دس ٹاپک ول بی اسپریڈنگ اوور تھری اور فور لیکچرز ایون مور دین فور لیکچرز Uh, so in over today's lecture uh, I will introduce the basic concepts about uh, software configuration management and uh, develop, uh, develop a foundation uh, for further discussions and uh, uh, we will uh, try to understand uh, the basic concepts of uh, software configuration management uh, uh, similarly Uh, the significance uh, of uh, software quality uh, software configuration management uh, in software quality assurance we will discuss something about uh, this and uh, we will have a short uh, overview of uh, uh, scm uh, functions so what are the processes of uh, software configuration management and uh, Lastly, we will try to understand uh, the concept of uh, uh, software configuration management in the view of uh, uh, International Standard Organization um, 12207, uh, similarly IEEE 828 and uh, capability maturity model integration. Uh, what uh, uh, these models say um, about uh, software configuration management. So this will be our uh, agenda for uh, today's lecture. So before proceeding uh, to our next slide, I would like to um, uh, say some um, uh, words regarding uh, the introduction of uh, this topic. Uh, in many uh, industries, the result of production process is a product that you can see or you can touch and you can measure it. Uh, but in software, uh, code is most uh, important deliverable and it is intangible, as you know, uh, intangible product for the most people. To give it uh, most uh, visibility, uh, it is necessary to document it and uh, uh, communicate its characteristics at uh, each step of uh, its development. Uh, for the same reasons, during its life cycle, it will be possible to review uh, it uh, and uh, improve it and expand the documents uh, uh, supporting it. Uh, this progression uh, originates from change requests, omissions, uh, defects and problem encountered when developing the product. Uh, also, when software uh, must reside on a processor, that receives data and controls a process uh, changes to the hardware can result in change request to the software. As long as uh, uh, the software supports a business process of, organ of the organization, modification will be uh, needed to be made uh, to keep it uh, uh, you may say uh, that uh, keep it uh, current with the evolution of the business rules and the technology as well. For example, the customers uh, want to modify uh, their requirements. Uh, similarly, the developers want to modify uh, their technical approach to develop uh, uh, the software product. Uh, similarly, managers, uh, they also want to modify the project strategy as well. Uh, all these documentation activities uh, um, and constant changes can become costly uh, in large projects. These activities to, uh, represent a percentage of the effort that cannot be ignored. Uh, this is why it is important to be familiar with these activities. Thus optimizing uh, this effort uh, in this chapter, All the different activities of the software configuration management uh, will be explained um, after understanding the nature of uh, software configuration management. Uh, this topic is one of the knowledge area that the software engineers should master in. 
and uh, uh, where the software quality assurance is actively involved to ensure the project teams uh, understand its impact.